For the longest time, I had no idea why IQ wouldn't start. No matter how many times I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, it wouldn't start. And I finally figured it out. It's because it's missing a registry key. Come over here and have a look with me. Click on the start button and type reg edit. That allows you to use the registry editor. This is sort of like the brains of your computer. When you do this, be really, really careful that you don't accidentally delete stuff. What you want to do is navigate to computer, H key, local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, run. So I'll show you how that's done. So you go to H key, local machine, and you, it normally looks like this, you expand this, and then software, again, if it's not expanded, just expand it like this. And then scroll down until you find Microsoft. Scroll down until you find Windows. Scroll down until you get to current version. Expand this. And then scroll down until you get to run. Now don't worry if you've never done this before, just make sure you follow the instructions exactly and type everything that I've typed just here. If you don't have the Corsair IQ5 software string value, right click somewhere blank on this area, select new, select string value. This will allow you to type in a string name. Write Corsair space IQ. Five, exactly like this software and then press enter after you've done that double click on the new string value and you will have a blank value data but I have one that tells me where my IQ is installed you can't copy mine because yours might be installed somewhere else what you want to do is press start and find IQ IQ if you've got it installed here Right click and select open file location. This will open the shortcut to where IQ is. And then you right click the shortcut and select open file location again. And we, it's going to take us to the main folder. Here you can see the main executable here called IQ, but we are not looking for that. We're looking for this one called IQ launcher. Now we're going to right click this and select copy as path. So wherever your IQ is, that's where it's going to copy. And then you're going to paste this in here, but there's a little bit of a trick here. So watch carefully. Now you see this, these quotes, if you remove them, it's going to confuse the entire launch sequence because this looks like a folder where there's a space. And this is also another program, Launcher. And if you just try and launch Launcher, probably nothing will happen. So we need to put in these quotes. This is like a container to say, I want to only load this executable that's called IQ space launcher.exe. Now, if you do that, it's only going to launch the launcher and then it'll come up. And it won't be minimized and it'll be super annoying. So what you do at the end here, put space and then hyphen, hyphen, auto run. And that will load it in the background. So just that extra with a little space here. Now load it in the background. And when you restart your computer, it's going to run it the way you want. Close registry editor restart your computer and then log in and you'll watch your IQ it'll come up and now you can have your IQ working again the next time it updates itself it might actually overwrite the registry or if you uninstall reinstall for some reason it might get rid of that if that's the case remember to go back in there and fix it back up until IQ software engineers actually fix this you're gonna have to do this manually but at least now you know how to do it